Uh, if you want to know the shortcut to having lots of power, go to Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus called his disciples unto him, and then he gave them power. You, got, you get the power from your union with Jesus. Not, not from studying a manual and how to, you know, walk in the power and stuff like that. I find that every time I go to the presence of God, I come out of there like, like his presence, full of peace, love, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And it's like, man, why didn't I do this like three hours before I started doing this? Like, why didn't I do this five hours ago? Oh. It's like we get so distracted by things of the natural realm. There's nothing wrong with the natural realm. The natural realm is beautiful, man. It's made after God's taste. Earth is made in the image of heaven. Uh, just like man is made in the image of God. But that image is his spirit. It's, it's purity. It's, it's, we're, we are created to walk in love, peace, and joy. Hey, is this where I get my speed bandana? I better, I better go check this out. This is important. Anything to help you get up the mountain to be with the Lord quickly is a valuable asset. <clears throat> Man, there's some kind of weird air smog or air fog. I guess the trees are burning out here. I woke up yesterday in a little bit, and you can probably still hear it in my voice. I sounded like Darth Vader, like, I am your father. <laughs> Luke. It took me about like five minutes to get my voice back. I sound like I swallowed a pail full of tacks. <clears throat> I went outside for about, literally today, about 30 seconds. And I like, oh, just breathing in all that smog and smoke and stuff. I came back inside, I'm like, I am not walking out around in that. And I, I just started sneezing like crazy. And then I, I flushed my nose with a neti pot. It's amazing. Oh, come on, man. It's amazing what, uh, did I turn my microphone on or am I just yakking here like a crazy person? I think it's on, I can't see anything. The older you get, your eyes just don't want to look at stuff anymore. We'll just have to believe that the impartation is there. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, this is important. I need this thing. I like the fish helmet, though, but... I mean, this is for looks. Man, it looks so... He looks so tough right now, huh? I got a cape and a shield and a double-edged battle axe. I don't have a double-edged sword. I got a double-edged axe, though. But Jeremiah says, you are my battle axe and my weapons for war. So we're still... We're still in the right zone. But... I don't look as cool anymore, but you know what? I gotta go for the cool look. I just wanna look cool. I'll switch it if we have a big climb. <laughs> a fish helmet. Who would have thought that would make you look cool, huh? Just the colors. I'm drinking hot tea in this hot summer day with the air AC. Am I the only one that does this? I turn on the air conditioning so that I can cover up under the sheets in, the, in, in my bed. <laughs> you know? Who does that? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. I told my wife, I'm going to go turn on the air conditioner so I can cover up under the blanket. <laughs> it's like a Linus, uh, you know, from Charlie Brown. I got to have that blanket. It's like a comforter. They call it the comforter for a reason. And it's like, it, sometimes you get a little bit sadistic and you like the trials and the and the tribulations and the warfare because then the comforter shows up <laughs> and oh there's nothing like being comforted by god i don't want that <clears throat> your weak weapons we are not going to backslide into the weaker things <clears throat> Little piggies. 
I'm the one that's going to give you a bad day. Oh, there's nothing there to grab. I need a hammer or something. I don't mind using this axe. This thing lasts forever, man. And it matches my clothes. Like, I kind of don't want to break it. But I need this. Oh, there's a couple things there. Salt is the most useless thing. Good morning. Kick it. Punt. All right, you guys, I had enough of that. Ooh, oh, oh. Told you I was gonna give you a bad day. Where's that other weapon? He had a good weapon down there. He's still alive? I'll be taking that. Oh, uh, kind of replace with it though. I guess I'll just drop the old one and grab the, grab the new one. Ugh. My memory serves me correctly. I know that's going to be a boomerang. And it's only like an eight, so I'm not even going to bother opening it. Although eight is new beginnings. It's pretty good to have a new beginning. You mess up and you just go to Jesus and... He just slapped you with some love and grace because you came before his face in all humility. He gives grace to the humble, but from the proud, you just like, well, you stay your distance. You got everything all figured out in your brain, but it's the heart that he wants. You know, what, let's just do another shrine just for fun. I need one more to get another stamina. Is that right? I don't remember how this thing works. My brain's foggy. The water guides, the living water does. 